Hello fellow fish geeks. I've got some bad news and I, I don't know how long this video will be or what all I will include but I wanted to at least share with you what happened. If I don't include it a lot more details in this particular video I will hopefully be making a more in-depth video deserving of her. My sweet Calypso died on uh, December 2nd and it was 100% preventable. It was my fault and I feel terrible about it. So this is kind of a PSA. I hate even talking about it. But I feel like I need to spread the word because I made a mistake that I will never make again. I don't usually use my mechanical filters. I use sponge filtration. But I wanted to get my tanks to be a little bit cleaner. And so I put in one of my hang on back filters in Calypso's tank. I've got a 10 gallon and I divided it between her and Sophia. Which turns out is a boy. <laughs> I'm not used to using it. And so I thought that I had everything good to go on it. And about, I want to say about three, four days after I redid their tank and started using that filter, I, I looked, okay, she always comes to the front and she always greets me. She's so, she, she's just like a little water puppy is what I call some of my fish. But... I happened to look over and I saw her before I went to go get my daughter off the bus and when I got back she wasn't there and I was this I, and I knew it was strange because she's always at the front whenever I'm nearby and I got to looking and I couldn't find her anywhere and I started to panic a little bit and I noticed that the filter intake was kind of sideways and I had this feeling of, oh no, oh no, oh no. And I popped it out real fast and she felt, or I stuck my finger up in it and it, I felt something in there and I was like, oh my God. So I pulled out the intake thing and she fell out of it into her water. She looked, she was gray, she looked dead, she was upside down. And I reached in and I touched her. And she was still alive, but it had broken her back, I'm pretty sure. Um, it tore up her tail really bad, her um, dorsal fin. And her upper body was okay. She wasn't bleeding or anything like that. And she's, she could come up for air. And I put her in a little hospital tank, kept her warm, put some medicine in there and some stress guard and just kept watch, kept a close watch on her for a couple of days. This happened on November 30th, I think it was? No? Yeah, November 30th. And I, sorry about all the ands and ums, it's really hard for me to talk about this. She was my first fish, my first betta since I was a teenager and I love her, I loved her so much. Um, she was so special to me and to me she wasn't just a fish but anyway after monitor monitoring her for a couple of days um, it was probably about 1 a.m. on sa Saturday night technically Sunday morning and I was watching her and she was resting I put her floating log in in the hospital area so she wouldn't have to swim up so far because she was struggling to get up to the surface to get air so I, I made it small enough where she could have her heat and everything and her floating log and be safe but also have an easier time well it got to the point where when she would go up for to get air it would bubble right back out of her and she couldn't stay afloat on her own and her swim bladder apparently was messed up but she couldn't she was like bobbing around and breathing really really heavily and I know this is controversial and I did not want to do this but I was not going to let her suffer she was not going to live and there was no point in dragging out her misery 
So I had to euthanize her around 1.30, around 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, December 2nd. It was so hard to do. It was this it was so difficult and it broke my heart and I still cry over her. I can't stand to look in her tank. She's not there and she always comes to the front to see me. But I miss her and I'm so sorry that I let this happen to her. But I'm sharing it so that you guys won't let it happen to your own fish. And uh, sorry about the waterworks. <laughs> I just feel so awful and so irresponsible. But please make sure your filters are safe. Everything in your aquarium is covered so they can't get hurt. And uh, cherish your little fishies. <laughs> they're not just fish. They're pets. They're creatures with little emotions and hearts and minds and lives. And they deserve the best that we can give them. My other fishies are doing fine. I've got Odysseus. He had to be put in the little hospital tank because his fins, he's still, he's just never fully recovered from the spring, the accident he had in the spring where he disappeared. But anyway, I'm treating him with some different things to try to see if I can help him. But everybody's good. And I'm just really sad and I miss my girl. Um, but I very thankful that I got to spend the time that I got to spend with her, loving her, making her life as good as I possibly could. And yeah, just pay attention to what you're doing and don't repeat my mistake, please. Thank you and I hope everybody's doing well. Mwah.